I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode where we watch some scary animations and nothing else needs to be said. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. First video of today's episode is called My Old Haunted House. Let's play it right now. And ooh, spooky. My name is Max. I live in the center of the city now. But a few years back, I lived in an old house on a somewhat sketchy street. But that doesn't mean I was poor. The house was ugly from outside, and it was built before World War II. I bet you he's ugly clean, from outside. warm and cozy inside, although many people died in it there. I always believed in ghosts because of all the weird incidents that happened. Like one time, at night, me and my mom were sitting in a room. It was pitch black outside the room we sat in. Suddenly, we heard someone was tripping over, falling in the kitchen. We also heard things like plates fall down and shatter. But when we walked outside, nothing was there. Oh, 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 oh. Everything was in its place, and we were so scared about what was going on. Who pooped their pants? A Raise your hands. A few years later, I, I did, had a I dream. Did. Me and my mom were walking down a path, and suddenly we stopped, and I heard a voice saying, Bridge. I felt something knocking on my back three times, and I woke up scared. Nothing was there. So I didn't think of it that much and went back to sleep. However, after that night, this dream appeared again and again. The voice said various things that I don't remember. Do you remember when he said, eat my ass? And one time it said something about my mom's death. It always ended with something knocking on my back three times. It was creepy. One time me and my mom sat in a room and talked about ghosts. And I told her about what I'd been dreaming. Mom went silent for a second, and she confided in me that once she was sitting with a friend, and he said something not too nice to her, just for fun. She got angry and screamed, shut up, in a male voice. And she didn't remember that. When she described the voice, it reminded me that the voice sounded just like the voice in my dreams. In 2017, she passed away because of cancer. Oh. She died in the same room in the same house where I got those okay, nightmares. Okay, that gave me chills. After that, I moved out to another place a few years ago. Oh. So I don't live in that house anymore. But I still believe in ghosts, that they exist, and they are real. Next video of today's episode is called Creepy Neighbor Horror Story. This is from Llama Arts, and the last video is from 1C Entertainment. I'm going to leave all the links to their channels in the description box below. But like I said, this is Creepy Neighbor Horror Story. So let's do this, this happened in 2009. We would fly from our home state in California to Minnesota to visit my father's Minnesota. family for the summer. I like Minnesota. I've always enjoyed it there because of the nature and peaceful atmosphere. My father's family lived far from the nearest town. Oh yeah, that's haunted as fuck right neighbors. there. My only friend there was a girl who lived next door. Let's call her Morgan. Why? Why can't we call her by a real name? And me, my sister, and her would always play from sunrise to sunset. One day at around 4 p.m., we were outside playing badminton. My sister Damn, hit a bitch got hops. Hard, and it landed in the next door neighbor's yard. Morgan said she had more inside her house and went to get them. I felt uncomfortable leaving it there, so I told my sister I'll go get it myself. She told me not to do it and just wait for Morgan. While my sister was fixing the net, I decided to run and get it real quick. As I was about to enter the That's gate, really that hello my neighbor house. grabbed me from behind and began telling me how much of a bad idea it was. That's like, yeah, it's a bad idea, but I'm a badass kid. <gasps> he picked up the birdie the? and said, Is this yours? He did not sound like that. Yes and asked if I could With have his limb dig nose. He said he had his grandchildren's old toys upstairs and asked if we wanted to have them. Me and my sister were very young at the time, and we thought as he lived so close, and he looked like a typical sweet grandfather. You get that serial killer smile happen. down. So we agreed, and entered through the back door. The first thing I noticed was the stench. It smelled Smell of like damp ass. and rotting food. I Smell like his ass. Time since he was old, old ass. Maybe he lived alone. Smell like old we ass. We heard Morgan calling our names, and we politely told the old man that we had to go, and maybe we'd return tomorrow. Morgan saw us through the window and immediately asked what we were doing there. I answered, The sweet old man. And she cut me off and what? said that the house was abandoned <laughs> since she moved there. What I thought the she fuck? was just playing around with me and told her to cut it out. 
She had a blank expression, and that's when I knew that she was serious. We never told anyone because we didn't want to cause any trouble. But now that I'm older, I wonder if it was some ghost or creepy old man luring kids into that house. The house got demolished recently, which is why I wanted to share this story. Oh! That was it? What? Alright. Well, a uh, creepy old guy in a house had some toys. Um, house smelled like his old balls. And yeah. Next video of today's episode is called My Friend Nearly Got Us Killed. I mean, that's what friends are for, right? Hi, my name is Adil, and this is a true story. That's when you know this shit is not real. That's the fakest story I ever heard. Hi, my name is Jay from the Cub Scouts. What I'm about to tell you is the truest story that you have ever heard. The police have finished this case, and the man is in prison now. Oh, okay. Sure. I was 14 at the time this took place. I was in a school and sitting in a history lesson that was so boring. Do you look any more dead inside? My friend Noel, who was sitting opposite me, said I could come over on Saturday, as his parents were not he going looks to like be he there because paint. they were going on a weekend away. That meant we could stay up as long as we wanted. Yes! This was not as uncommon, we as we Watch both invited movies. each other to stay at one another's house, and I thought we were going to have a great time. Woohoo! Saturday came, and I was so <laughs> yes, ready. I packed my essentials, like my toothbrush, my new game, and my pepper spray. Pepper spray, My damn. parents always made me carry it, and, and loaded. I didn't mind, because it made me feel safe, too. I went on my way, and 30 minutes later, after walking, arrived to Noel's house. As he opened the door, he looked a little tense and shifty. The fuck? I walked in and locked the door after me, to which he became even more anxious. Remember what I said about him sniffing paint? I wasn't kidding. I asked him if everything was all right, and he said it was. Not trying to put a down on the evening, I asked him if we could play the new game I bought. He wasn't really interested, but said yes anyway. After 30 minutes of watching what? him not playing the actual and just ass. holding the controller in his hand, I switched off the TV and asked him what was going on. To which he replied, I need your help. I asked him what he needed my help for. He told me that this man who added him on Facebook was actually stalking him in real life and as to how he wanted to meet Noel. He warned him that if he told his parents, he would kill them. Ugh. So Noel being the stupid idiot, 72 he told blah, blah, street. I know that place. Five minutes from now. He was scared, so he asked me to come to this meeting to get rid of him, and that if he had told me at school, I never would have agreed to come. He was right. I felt betrayed that he brought me here under false Ooh, pretenses. Angry fist. I was also angry at his stupidity of him giving his address away as well. However, I had no time to argue. <laughs> I was just glad he told me about this guy. I grabbed my pepper spray and just sat there on the couch. Yeah. The doorbell rang at 8 p.m. <laughs> Fuck this guy. I just sat there hoping he would leave after a little bit. However, then I started to hear scratching and realized he was breaking in with some sort of tool. Into 72 Blah Blah Street? I ran into the kitchen with Noel and we heard the door lock get broken and someone kicked the door in. The lights were on and we were hiding behind the large fridge. The man in a deep voice shouted, Noel. We didn't reply. And then he shouted, Noel, where the heck are you? I'm going to kill you. Who says that they're going to kill them before they kill them? Hey, I just broke into your house. I'm going to kill you now. I had a plan. At this point, I pushed Noel out from behind the fridge. And then I ran Noel for my started life. going back, and the man was walking forward, <laughs> chuckling. As soon as he came near the distance of the fridge, I shot out and sprayed pepper spray in his eyes. He screamed in pain and then started swinging the screwdriver in his hand. I grabbed the screwdriver and picked up a pan laying there and hit him on the head. He blacked out. Psych! He was dressed in a smart suit and was clean shaven. We called the police and later found out that he was a man who was being monitored because there were several complaints of stalking and threatening behavior. They also found many tools in a bag he left near the door that would dismember a body. Thankfully, this sicko didn't kill anyone. However, I'm now happy that Noel called me because I dread to think what would have happened if I wasn't there. He pushed his friend out from the fridge and then pepper sprayed this guy and saved the day. And then he went home and had a threesome with Jennifer Lopez and Scarlett Johansson. Next video of today's episode is called Insane Neighbor. And this neighbor better be insane or I'm gonna go insane. Watch me.
You guys haven't seen me go insane yet. I will go insane if this a neighbor is not insane. Back, I okay, let me shut my ass up. From a friend of mine. He had recently bought it and had it completely renovated. He put it up for sale but couldn't find a buyer, so I offered to rent it in the meantime. After moving in, I realized there was something wrong with the lady next door. She was about 45, but looked much older. Ooh, insulting her looks? She would sit up all night listening to Christian radio shows. That ain't 45, that's 95. Talking loudly to someone. It got to the point where I couldn't sleep. So I went over to her place and asked her to keep it down. Hey, shut the fuck up! She opened her door and I got a quick peek. Her walks all had crosses painted on them in different colors and words like Jesus and angels scribbled everywhere. Mm. The windows were painted black, letting in no light at all. It was damp, yellow stained 50 year old carpets, dog shit and cockroaches Dog everywhere. shit and cockroaches! No her face looked like though. dog shit. I asked her to please keep it down. She just looked at me and shut the door. <laughs> and she turned up the radio even louder. She was like, shut up, bitch. The next day, I had my girlfriend staying over. I wake up in the middle of the night and see a shadow of a person oh. next to the bed looking at us sleeping. I think I'm hallucinating, what the as heck? I usually do in the dark when I'm sleepy. Dude, she got a power drill massacre! But then the shadow starts talking. It's my neighbor, and she's holding something in her hand. She said, hello, neighbor. How you doing, she neighbor? She broke in during the night, and who knows how long she's sleeping. Can I drill there. your asshole, neighbor? You should lock your door at night. She says and walks out. How are you gonna say that when you have a drill? Watch them be like nails, and then the, the com <laughs> like the lock is just on the floor, and the nails are taken out with the drill that she has in her hand. You should lock your door, bitches. <laughs> the next morning, neighbors. I hear someone making strange noises below my bedroom window. It's my neighbor talking to herself in tongue. She has a Tom's plastic like, bag in her hand yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. with her rotting dead dog inside. It's hot as hell outside and I can smell death from the bag. At this point, I'm scared shitless. She's obviously very insane. I go upstairs and knock on another person's door and ask what the hell is going on. The guy is as scared as me. Apparently, she broke into his apartment one evening as well Damn, this while he was watching TV with pussies. his kids. He got up from the couch to get a snack, only to find her behind the couch staring at him, holding a power drill. Yeah, man, this apartment building is full of some pussies. I would have knocked on that door as soon as she opens it up. Yeah, just, you know, just slap that power drill off her hand. Just, yeah, just punch her right in her saggy titty. And just, 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 in a crazy ass face. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm a pussy too. I would not do that. I'd be scared too. I'm like, ah! At this stage, I'm basically shitting myself. I call the cops and they know all about her. And they don't do anything? Apparently, she's a violent schizophrenic and she hasn't taken her meds. But they can't force her or enter her apartment without permission because she owns it. The only thing they can do is get her when she goes outside. I sit up for the next two days, waiting for her to run out of cigarettes. When I hear her leave at 2 a.m. to go across the road to the 7-Eleven, I call the cops. They have three cars That's in a special van over in less than two minutes. She just wanted some food! They restrain her and throw her in the van and drive off to some institution. And in less than a minute, it's like she was never there. I never see her again, but I still have nightmares about her looking at me in my sleep. Ooh. Yeah, that's actually kind of creepy. 
She was insane though, I'll give it that, you know? I'll give it the two finger clap. She was a little creepy and insane. Next video of today's episode is called The Smiling Man. About five years ago, I lived downtown in a major city in the US. I've always been a night person, so I would often find myself bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a night person, went to sleep. To pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend the time thinking. I spent four years like that, walking alone at night. Four never years? Once had a reason the hell's to wrong with you? Afraid. I always used to joke with my roommates that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. But all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. It was a Wednesday, somewhere between 1 and 2 in the morning, and I was walking near a police patrolled park quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight, with very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park, as it was most nights, was completely empty. I went down a short side street in order to loop back down my apartment when I first noticed him. At the far end of the street, on my side, was the <laughs> silhouette of a man dancing. <laughs> He's just doing it some Fortnite dance, dances. Similar to a waltz, <laughs> but he finished each box with an odd forward stride. I guess you could say he was dance walking, headed straight for me. Deciding he was probably drunk, I stepped as close as I could to the road to give him the majority of the sidewalk to pass me. The closer he got, the more I realized how gracefully he was moving. He was very tall and lanky and wearing an old suit. He danced closer still until I could make out his face. His eyes were open wide and oh. wild, head tilted back slightly looking, looking like off of the sky. <laughs> His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. Between the eyes and the smile, I decided to cross the street before he danced any closer. I took my eyes off of him to cross the empty street. Dancing on the street? As I reached the other side, okay, I glanced stop. back, and then stopped dead in my tracks. He had stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street, perfectly parallel to me. Oh, looking at me? He was facing me, but still looking skyward. Smile Tell still me that ain't Michael Jackson. Lips. Right now. I was completely and utterly unnerved by this. I started walking again, but kept my eyes on the man. He didn't move. Once I had put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me. The street and sidewalk ahead of me were completely empty. Still unnerved, I looked back to where he had been standing to find him gone. Oh. For the briefest of moments, I felt relieved, until I noticed him. He had crossed the street, and was now slightly crouched down. Oh, you're fucked. I couldn't tell for sure due to the distance and the shadows, but I was certain he was facing me. Oh, he's about to tackle you and I eat that ass. I had looked away from him for no more than 10 seconds, so it was clear that he had moved fast. I was so shocked, and I stood there for some time, staring at him. And then he started moving toward me again. Oh he took no! took giant, exaggerated, tiptoed steps, as if he were a cartoon character sneaking up on someone. <laughs> Except he was moving very, very quickly. <laughs> I'd like to say that is actually point, awesome. I ran away or pulled out my pepper spray or cell phone or anything at all, but I didn't. <laughs> See, I just stood there, completely you like that frozen, scary as and the hilarious. smiling man crept toward me. Probably not hilarious if it happened to you. And he stopped again, about a car length away from me. Still smiling his smile, still looking to the sky. When I finally found my voice, I blurted out the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> what I meant to ask was, what the fuck do you want? In an angry, commanding <laughs> tone. What the fuck is you? What came out was a whimper. Wh what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, bitch, you're gonna die. Regardless of whether or not humans can smell fear, they can certainly hear it. I heard it in my own voice. That only made me more afraid. But he didn't react to it at all. He just stood there, smiling. And then, after what felt like forever, he turned around, very slowly, and started dance walking away. Just like that. Not wanting to turn my back to him again, I just watched him go, until he was far enough away to almost be out of sight. And then I realized something. He wasn't moving away anymore. Nor was he dancing. I watched in horror as the distant shape of him got bigger and bigger. Whoa! He was coming back my way. Oh, He was shit! coming back my way. 
Is he and this sprinting? time he was running. Oh, I ran fuck! Short. I ran until I was oh, off the side road and back onto a better lit road with sparse traffic. Run! Looking Run, behind dude. me then, he was nowhere to be found. The rest of my way home, I kept glancing over my shoulder, always expecting to see his stupid smile, but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that, and I never went out for another walk. There was something about his face that always haunted me. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. He looked completely and utterly insane. And that's that a very, like Michael very Jackson. scary I'm not thing even to trying see. to be funny. Last video that we are going to check out on today's episode is called School Lockdown Stories. We checked out School Lockdown Stories 2 in a previous episode. Now we're basically going to go backwards and check out the first one. So this is probably going to be good. It was a typical boring day in calculus, only it was Friday, 7th period, meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon us. So everybody was getting antsy in their seats, I could tell. We didn't have a test that day like a lot of my friends did with their other teachers, so our teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing games with us on Sporkle.com. He was a very laid-back teacher like that. Cool guy. As we were doing some brand logo quiz on Sporkle, I remember the exact moment it happened. Right after my friend answered a question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas. The Dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers this was not a drill and to go into lockdown. Mm. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as our usually laid back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and ushered us to the back corner of the room. We all sat in silence for about two minutes and then the usual buzzing that came from a panel in the back of the room ceased, indicating that the school must have cut all the power. Oh, crap. We all looked at each other, realizing this must be serious. A few more minutes of waiting later, we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down the hallway. Two girls in the class actually started crying, which made all of us even more scared. As the screaming got closer to the classroom, the lunatic sounding man started banging on the lockers while screaming, I'll kill all of you. Holy it was at that crap. moment that I started to fear for my life. My teacher shushed us as we all looked at each other to see our peers' reactions. The banging then moved from the lockers to our classroom door. And that's when one of the crying girls screamed no. The banging on the door only grew worse as the man started screaming, open up. Two of the girls in the class were crying out loud now. It felt like an eternity that that man was pounding at the door. But eventually, he finally continued down the hallway, screaming like a mentally insane person, until we could Jeez. not hear him anymore. I'd say ten minutes later, though it felt like half an hour given the situation, the Dean came back on the loudspeaker explaining the situation, which was surprising for him to do. He explained that some apparently mentally unstable person entered the building and assaulted the woman sitting at the front desk, causing her to flee the building screaming, and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or not. Now this was before the school had cameras or could afford proper security, so the school was wide open to something like this happening. The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't find him, so the dean instructed the teachers to resume teaching but to keep all the doors locked and to not let any students leave for How any reason. How did you reasons. teach after that? The most disturbing part, back however, on is that one of the janitors start working more questions, night shift like nothing happened? found the man sleeping in one of the storage butt? closets near the back end of the school, and according to rumors that were spread by my peers, sticking out of his pocket was a 44 Magnum. The janitor must have done something stupid to wake him up, for example, leaving the closet door open, because by the time a police officer could arrive on the scene, the man was gone. Mm. My entire class, as far as I know, to this day, has no idea if this man was ever found, but I like to think that right now, he's being given the proper help that he needs. That was really well done. Well animated. I don't even think I paused the video once. That had to be one of the better animations that I've seen so far in this series. But correct me if I'm wrong, guys, because I don't know this, but aren't you supposed to push, like, all the desks and the tables towards the door? So the guy can't get in. I mean, I know that all the classrooms probably have locks, but shouldn't you like barricade the door 
so you know the guy can't look in and stuff like that i don't know correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below but i assume that's what you're supposed to do in a school lockdown but anyway guys that's gonna do it for this episode of watching scary animations if you guys want to see more of this series make sure you guys give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude <laughs>